So the core part of the school day is 9am till 3pm. Uh, and we allow from 9 to 9.15 for children to come in with their parents or their carers and settle into the classroom environment. So usually there's a range of activities set up on the tables and the children can come in and just engage in play either with their parent or their carer or independently if, if their parents need to go quickly. Um, and it just helps for a really nice um, settling in period and an easy start to the morning. Usually then once all the children have arrived, about 9.15 or 9.20 or so, the, the children will come to a little group time with their teacher and that will be an opportunity for the teacher to go through the routine for the day, to talk about you know, what's coming up, what specialist activities might they have, what special events are they having, what's their day going to look like and that gives the children a really great sense of um, predictability and, and certainty about the day ahead. Usually then the classes will either engage in a period of indoor inquiry or a period of outdoor inquiry. So um, we have one year level having a really nice um, period of extended outdoor play at a time. So usually at the moment, the reception children head outside for a, a morning um, of their outdoor inquiry time. Um, and then the pre preps come out a bit later in the day. During that indoor inquiry time, if that's what the class is doing, there'll be a range of different activities that the children can engage in. So all of the beautiful early childhood things like blocks and painting and Play-Doh and all of which have really wonderful and important skill-based things for the children to practice and develop. Um, and the teachers certainly take lots of observations while the children are engaged in those activities and, and support and extend them um, where they're at in those areas. Some of the activities the children engage in may also be a little bit more directed by the teacher. Um, so there might be a particular skill that the teacher is looking at, perhaps their cutting skills or maybe some social skills in terms of turn taking or something like that. And so the teacher might ask or invite a little group of children to come and sit down with them and engage in one of those activities. And they might invite all of the children in the class across the course of a morning or perhaps across the course of a week to come and engage in that particular activity. And it gives the teacher a really good opportunity to observe the children in both in their interactions with others and in their skills and then design future activities based on those observations. When the children are in the outdoor environment, again, there's lots of opportunities for them to choose lots of activities independently. We have beautiful bikes and a lovely obstacle course every day and the sand pit and, of course, the children will move between those things quite independently. But again, other things might be a little bit more directed by the class teacher. Um, so they might be looking at throwing and catching skills, for example, and they might engage in some activities with each um, individual child or with small groups to um, observe and practice those skills. So the children have a lot of agency and a lot of choice in what they do, but also the teachers are in the background um, supporting and, and guiding the children to make sure that their development is continuing and we're able to support and extend them. After that period of outdoor or indoor inquiry, usually the children will stop for lunchtime and they'll have morning tea as part of those um, morning activities as well. Um, and then they'll have their, their lunchtime. And after lunch, there's usually an opportunity for some downtime, a little bit of quiet time. So we talk with the children about being balanced and about that their bodies and brains are really busy and active during the day. And to take a little bit of time out, particularly after lunch, is really helpful in making sure that they can then engage with the activities um, and with their families in the afternoon. So there is usually a little bit of quiet time. Um, for those children, particularly in reception, who do need to still have a sleep, there is an opportunity for them to have a little, a little sleep or a rest. Um, others, perhaps just some quiet activities, listening to a story or a song for 15 or 20 minutes is all they need to rejuvenate and head on for the rest of their day. In the afternoon, again, the children will engage in some of that indoor or outdoor inquiry time. And then the class teacher usually brings them together at the end of the day, just to reflect on their day, talk about what worked well, what, what, what might be follow up with um, the following day. Um, and then they transition either to their parents who have come to collect them at three o'clock or into our after school care program from there.